powered by the Unreal Engine. A long time ago, in a board far, far away. Dice Daddy. Episode 1. Lord of Dice. Ancient lords of the races found a sacred board, and they were given dice created by the greater power known as Dice Tiny. Three for the elves, seven for the dwarves, nine for the humans, and none for the whining trolls. They coexisted in peace, well, most of the time, but one day a rumor began to spread, started by the trolls, who else, that there was one dice that ruled them all. Wars, raids, and thousands of lives, including zombies and dinos, were lost before the peace was restored. Thousands of years passed, and the existence of Dice Tiny were forgotten from the creatures. However, two great sages found two Dice Tiny and a dark side of the di Dice Tiny corrupted one of them. He began to call himself Dead Serious, and his evil force began to threaten the world peace seriously. The other sage goes on a journey, believing that only the one dice that rules the rest can save the world from him. What? <coughs> I apologize. One day he arrives in a village and meets a hero. I don't usually use two voices, so that was what the cop was. Couldn't quite hold it off the whole time. I won't admit my voices are probably not very good at all, but you gotta give me something to try. So, I'm not sure if I have to skip this or if it will end. I clicked before. Okay, we're just gonna click because I think it just fades. So, guys, welcome to Dice Tiny. Dice Tiny is a card based dice and board kind of game. So, if we read in Waterfront, follow the trace of Dice Tiny. We pass by a small city off the southern coast without the sound of playful children, no sound of bustling market. The city was as silent as a dead forest. At Roman town, we finally made our way to an inn. And there, we heart that the place is controlled by a group of mercenaries. Um, the people who make this game don't speak English, so it should be heard, but they wrote heart. So, let's take that in mind. They do not speak English. Well, yeah. They're not... Well, English is the first level. Anyway, the a place controlled by a group of mercenaries named The Hound, who is involved in all kinds of illegal activities, such as human trafficking of women. The only asks us for help as a member of The Hound is about to make a visit to the inn. So, <laughs> kind of... Odd choice, but... <laughs> That's where it goes. So we're going to be playing against the Hound. This is the default deck you get, so we're going to be using it. So. So I'll explain how it works, but first we'll continue the story. So you're the dog who works for Hound. Who the hell are you? How dare you speak of Hound? I challenge you. Let's see if you fight as tough as you speak. You begin to annoy me. A single turn will do for a weakling like you. No one start. Okay, so how the game works is initially we get to select a bonus. We get one temper AP, 100 gold, or one attack. Um, I find one attack's generally useful. So, Dice Tiny works is you spend gold, cards, or abilities to get various things. So we can use Battlecry, give plus one to a friendly minion, and we don't have the second one. So, we're actually just going to roll. So, shop. We can enter, see if there's anything we want right away. So, jump 20 space with six spaces ahead. Change position with enemy hero. And push forward. These are cards we could buy. Um, but for now, I think we're just gonna keep what we have. So, so this is... We could have used this earlier, but... I just kind of want to get an idea. And I don't think we have any friendly minions. Yeah, see, no targets, so... No one else is on this space. This is a shop space. I'll get into what all the spaces do later on. We can spend 50 gold to draw, but I think for now we're just going to end. So. So he is fighting. That is, I think that's the dungeon, or it's just a minion. So he attacked that minion and did damage to it. And he's now playing his cards. So. So we gotta level up. So. 
We can use the legendary sword. We can use rage. And the thing is, you generally want to use um, these actions before your cards because you only get so many cards in your deck where these ones replenish. So we're going to use rage to increase our attack. And we're going to roll. So we're going all the way over here, which again is a temple. We have to spend money to get bonuses. So we get health, defense, or attack. So, I'm actually going to go for defense because we had zero defense before. So, our enemy takes another turn. You, So, he has abilities. Overspend, deal with damage to enemy by spending 50 gold. So, we can roll again. Eight. So you get, we got 100 gold for making a lap. Hard sell card. So we bought a card from him. The Meat Chopper. So the Meat Chopper is a minion card. Every turn you get one more AP to spend. I think that's how it works. So we can't play this one for a little bit. It has 6 health. And it costs 5 mana. So I think we'll just rage to give ourselves a little bit more attack. There's no one on this card. So we'll just end turn. Because again, we don't want to have too many cards in our hand. We could have used attack, but there's no one in our square. So. So action moves kind of quickly. You kind of have to know what the cards do. So we'll kind of get there as we continue to play. So. Um, well, eight is plenty. We don't really need to get any more. Uh, not the shop again. So this kills minions. And this actually changes the direction. But like I said, we're just saving our money. And I guess, since we're not doing anything else, we can just rage. So. And we'll end our turn. These are all neutral minions. These are enemy minions. You can tell by the red square, it means they're his minions. These are neutral minions. So. So, and enemies can give you bonus cards as well. So, again, now 5 AP. Now we can play our meat chopper in a square. So with things we can make, we can fight and I think absorb, probably absorbs that minion I'm guessing? No, not quite sure what the absorb ability does. But we killed his minion and got our minion on that square. We have no AP so we can't use any of our abilities but... And taunt means it stops the enemy in their tracks. So, too bad we can't actually use attack. I guess we should have actually waited to the end. Because we could have hit him for, um, well, I guess it'd only be four damage, so. But, so we killed Dio's minion and then attacked him, so. We lost our defense, though, so. So he's going to attack that neutral minion. And get some gold for it, so. But he's been, he's drawn quite a few cards, actually, so. And these do build abilities based on laps and stuff, so. So we could act I could actually stop him. But I think we probably want to roll first. Or how much that's cost five. So I could stop him from doing his rounds. But I think I'll go for my rounds first. We got another lap bonus, so we're getting quite a bit of gold. Um See so if there's anything we really want. This is actually pretty good. Four health for two mana. But. If two cards. First meat chopper. Yeah, we'll buy another meat chopper. It's a good minion to have. So. I can only play it on these two squares. So. And I 
I say give it to either of these minions, but we'll use it on him because we have next to Matter left. Two. He's gonna get to fight the innkeeper. Oh, okay. That's the other thing. You can, if you have the money, you can choose to hire a minion instead of attacking him. Oh, he took his ability to take our gold. I didn't actually know that. So. Hmm. Well, I guess we can roll. Hopefully, we're not. Yeah. So, defense, health, or bless, or attack. We'll go with some health gets back up to full health. So that's after laps, where that's not owned. So I don't want him to get both attack on laps, so we're just going to replace that. And how much? Yeah. Well, may as well give her play a little bit more attack. I could have leveled up this character, but I'm not too worried about it. Six. Over to his character there. He bought a card. Didn't quite see what Rush did. One thing I could use is like a console where you could read what your opponent did, but not the end of the world. Um, I don't think I'm going to land on him. On the plat. So here you can see I can either hire it for 50 gold or battle it. I'm actually am going to hire the Blessed Core because it has a good on lap bonus. So I have a couple choices. I can plus a friendly minion, I can use a weapon, or I can draw for 50 gold. I might also just draw squad leader. If there's a friend minion within one space range, give this minion plus two level. And there is. I wonder if it gives two minions. Yes, it does. So that's quite powerful. Uh, I can do it to any of my minions. Well, I'd like my corn to stay alive if I can. And why don't we just get more attack? Just in case he lands here, we're doing really well. Because if you look how damaged he is. I'm not quite following how that rush card works. I'm not sure if he gets to choose to attack twice or we have to attack till it's dead. But. Um How much gold do I have? A hundred. Well, I am gonna draw. Ah, uh, not another legendary sword. It's pretty gross actually. I lost my attack. I'm not sure how he did some- I don't quite, quite how that rush attack works, so... Um... I don't think I'm gonna need more attack. Let's just roll and see where we end up. At the store again. That's part of our thing. We keep ending up at the store. So back one space. No, I only have 50 gold, so I don't really want to waste my gold on any of that nonsense. But... Gonna give him a level up. Give my attack a level up. And I may as well use this legendary sword. So, 11 attack. Just in case you have this land on my square. Is that a dungeon square? Yeah, so he gets to fight a monster. And get a prize and gold. So I'm not going to get one. So I want to draw, not really. In case I end up... No, not this shot. Dungeon Raid! So it just sends us straight to the dungeon. Fight. 
A Hellgate Keeper. So we get the Hellgate Keeper. Um, the reason we can't use this is because we can't play it. Because there's no spaces to play it on. Um, but... Um... Yeah, make him a little stronger. I may as well rage, because we have nothing else to do. Because I don't really want to use my legendary sword. So... A two! So he's getting really low in health, because now he has to fight that as well. Okay, so we both change our moving directions. So he actually replaced the blessed corn with his minion. So now I think everybody takes a little bit of damage. Um. Well, I might as well get a little bit of rage. I have a lot of bunnies, so... <laughs> That's kind of worthless, because I could just buy a new card, but... I th or, actually, it's a totally new card, I think, so... It actually probably is worth it, so what do we get? Braveheart! So you can't die. That's potentially useful. Hellgate Keeper. I could probably play it. They will have to fight it, but... Otherwise I'm not really using much lot of my mana. And it's gonna stop him, so... So we'll end our turn. Because he has to fight the Keeper, because it has Taunt. Getting him down to 3 health. His abilities are generally much better than mine. My, I don't really like the character abilities my character has. Um, let's draw a card. I should have actually drawn a card last turn as well. Okay, well I can just win here. But I may as well just go crazy. 18 damage. No battle occurs. So yeah. Don't kill me, please. I'm just a messenger. Tell me at once. Why did the ham come here? I don't know. I don't know they're looking for something. Probably the monster got surprised by by now. So Victory Well Warrant is a new hero. So we can actually look at our deck. Add a new deck. So now we'll look at the starter characters. But actually, guys, I think we'll do that in the next episode. So thanks, guys, for coming to this Introducing the Tiny Dice. Next character, next episode, rather, we'll look at the characters and do another mission. Thanks, guys. Later.